people deluded i'm back again thank you very much for tuning in each and every time i hope everybody's doing well and safe whoever you are wherever you are in this world please make sure you've hit the like button and you're subscribed now arsenal 2 southampton 2 it's better yet arsenal's under 18s 2 southampton's 2 southampton 2 arsenal 2 yeah man it's a point each for both teams it's a share of the spoils it's for me not disappointing but disappointing because i think we deserved so much more from the game from the referee first and foremost we should have had at least two penalties in that game i felt and from ourselves because you know it's 2-2 two, two. We, we, we made it harder than it needed to be, you know. Credit to Southampton, they've got some technical-based footballers, but I think we switched off for the two goals. And I think, we you know, it's reflected as well. We had to come back from behind twice, you know. It's, it's, we could have killed off this game. We could have started the game a bit better, you know. It's, it's the fine margins has let these boys down. And, you know, at 17, 16 to 18 years of age, this is what these boys need to improve on. But I, I love this bunch of players, people. I think they're all good players. I think they're all talented. You know, they're all showing segments. You know, Amari Hutchison, Brooke at right back. You know, um, there's, there's plenty of talent. Paterno's not here anymore. It is what it is. Well, really at this level anymore. But yeah, going into the game, I agreed with Jack with Jack um, in the midfield as well. I think he's a bit different to the other midfielders at Arsenal. He can pass the ball, but I think he's more industry and I like that he plays with heart. I think he's been taking his opportunities. We, um, I, um, Ideo, I can never pronounce his name, was playing as well as Serjan. You know, they're two players that I'm sure would want to kick on at 23s and they're two players that I actually, at this level, want to see a lot more from them. I think they could be a bit more leaders in this team in the way that I'm seeing Amari Hutchison do it and things like that. But I did think we started well. I did think it was all us. I think we was all on top of Southampton. I think we was playing all right, man. We weren't playing amazing, but we was doing what we needed to do. The problem is we've set we've set ourselves back. You know, Southampton have broke um, have broken against us, and you could see the goal happening. You know, I'm, Zach's a better centre half. You know, than than people give him credit for. He's a very good centre half in my opinion. And who knows, he might have a future at this level um, for Arsenal in the first team. But I think he's going to have a good career. I think he's ultimately conceded the penalty, but he's much better than that. You know, it's a poor sequence of plays. Body positioning initially in the in the early build build up of the goal um, was poor. He's brought his man down as a result. They've got a penalty. Now in the eighth minute, they've converted that penalty. And suddenly our game plan initially is out the window. We're having to react. Like I said, we were doing all right. And I did feel, you know, we were, we were pressing well. Why don't I share my notes? Why are the notes not on the screen? So you look and see him with me. Apologies, people. Um, but like I said, I think, you know, we reacted well to going a goal down. We understood that we made a mess of it collectively as a team and as certain individuals. I think we, we I think we pressed well. And I think our goal came as, as a result of good pressing, you know. Jack Jack Henry Francis, I believe, is, he's got a double barrel name. He feeds Kion Edwards through. So Edwards is disrespectful. He sent someone shop with his left foot and converted it with his right. It was a good move. But away from that, it was a lovely... Take nothing away from the assist from Jack. That was a good pass. If certain other academy players did this it would have got clipped up on instagram and all those sort of things and and whatnot but it's a good pass it's a good finish from kion you know and 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 what i'm impressed better than the two individuals from that is you could see collectively we're pressing we forced that mistake from southampton and their defenders we're back in the game can we build upon that now we're doing all right i think we could get amari into the game a bit more you know when he came over to this left we did we seemed to do that you know there was a we reacted well you know brook at right back he did one charging run and put a lovely ball into the box he did get his assist via that uh, um, later in the game but couple of times not being found i think we was we was mucking in the problem is we've got to be able to focus people and again we've we've gonna go down from being silly uh, is the best way to describe it is just another another setback another silly goal we're caught playing out from the back you know as a team we're playing square passes you know we're selling our midfielder short they've just leaped you know they've just capitalized on that lapse in possession and put it in front of goal and i think uh, at a push I do think defensively we could have been a bit more convincing, like our keeper, you know, he had a good game, maybe a bit needs to be a bit more crisper with his distribution. Um, <clears throat> like I said, people, I felt personally Amari's having more um, joy on this left-hand side and, he, you know, as, as good as he is and as good as he played, you know, it's one of the easiest goals I've seen him score this year. He's having a good season. It's a lovely run from Brook at, at right back, man. You know, it's a fantastic run from him. It's almost Dani Alves-esque, you know. I really think... You know, if he keeps developing, gets his head down like he's doing, you know, I'm, I'm not here to say he's going to be this, that and the third. You know, that's not my style, but I think he's going to have a good career and I think he can break through. I think him and Daniel, between them two, both of them, ideally, you know, they could kick on that fullback and he had a good game. It's a fantastic run from him. He's pulling it in. You know, we've got ourselves back into the game at 2-2. Now, it's quite the first half at this point, people. You know, it's a thriller. There's four goals already. 
the players, it's, it's games like this I kind of somewhat like because I don't feel the coach has to tell these under-18s. They know they've messed up. They know they've not played to their potential fully, you know. Um, but so go out there and, and pattern it up. And I feel the second half, I feel it was all lost for large parts of it, simply, people. As you can see, there's not many, many notes. I think we really pushed, you know, Amari was a man on a mission. Everyone was a man on a mission. There was a couple heart and mouth moments from Southampton, a couple of opportunities we should have scored. Definitely feel we should have had a penalty or two or three, definitely two. Ref, I don't know what he's on. It wasn't our day. But much like our under 23s against Southampton away, you know, we've dropped silly points. Now, we was never in the winning position and um, being a goal up. So it is heroic. But I think we should have. I think we could have. I think we should have. And I think we would have. But coulda, woulda, shoulda is not facts. Fact is we went a goal down and it's 2-2 two, two, and it's two points dropped. You know, as much as I love my under-18s, you know, it's not academy football anymore. This is the mentality that's going to be there in the first team. So there's a lot of things to work at. In terms of ending thoughts, as I said, and I'm going to say it again, we should have had a couple of penalties. I think Jack, Jack is taking his chances um, at, in central midfield. Um, he hasn't had too many this season and I think he's showing his quality. And I think next season, I think, a, I think Charlie should step up first time for... Um, full-time into the 23s. For me, Brooke and Amari, again, they should feature a bit more prominently um, for the 23s next season if everything, if I if, if they keep developing. I think Brooke this year and Amari this year need to get more of a look in. I know Amari got some minutes against Brentford in the behind closed doors friendly, which I haven't seen, so you haven't got a tactical review on it. Um <clears throat> because I haven't got access to that. But um, uh, yeah, man, couple ending thoughts. Amari's a baller. He's having a good season. Um, It's not meant to say undefeated. It's meant to say underrated, man. Shout out to Kai for his goal, man. It was a fantastic strike for me. I think he's really slept on, maybe because obviously there's other guys at 23's level, but I think his movement's good. He works very hard. He, he, he's got, um, what's it? He pulls into the channels. He's very, he's very selfless on, on the ball. Um, I like him a lot, man. I think that we've got... I, I've told you a lot already, man. The under-18s this season has been my source of joy. There's a good collective bunch there and I think they're all going to have good for careers. I think a couple can have a real good goal of trying to make it at this football club. Who knows? A couple more might surprise. So, yeah, Amari's a baller. Kion Edwards did well. Jack did his thing. Brooke Norton Coffee is a baller as well. I do want to see more from Serjan and Adayo as well because I think they've got the ability to play full-time for the 23s, but you've got to be out there and prove it. And Serjan in particular, you've had more chance it's also nice to see Flores back kind of fit and coming off the bench and getting little minutes here and there as he, he's been knocked back through injury. Um, it is what it is. I think this result leaves us seventh. I think we've only had three draws this season. Let me actually check the under-18s Premier League South table to make sure that's not worse, people. Yeah, we've had three draws. Sadly, we've lost seven times and we've won eight. So considering, I think we're doing all right. Well, obviously, I want to see us do better, but we've got a very young squad. I think they're doing all right. I think we're seeing their age at times with some of the goals they're conceding, but this is why they're at this level. This is their 16, more, most of them, 16, 17. You know, these sort of things, you expect these mistakes to happen. And this is what it's about, correcting these wrongs, because if I was to start scrutinising and holding them to the same standard I hold the first team, some of these goals, I'm seeing us concede all the time. But like I said, man, we came back from a goal. We came, we, listen, we, we, the positives are, you know, we didn't lose the game. We reacted well from being set back and we did what we needed to do. But on that note, people, I'm going to get out of it. There's nothing more, more to say, man. It's 2-2. Two, two. I don't. I think we've got Fulham on the weekend. I could be wrong. I think our under-23s have Derby on Friday as well, if you want to be kept in the loop. So, yeah, man, hopefully it's more, it's, it's victory when we play again. You know, it is what it is in that regards, though, people. People, it's been a pleasure speaking to you lot. Please make sure you hit the like button, you comment and subscribe if you wish. I'm out.